perseverance, show up. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of, uh, of inspiration this morning, a little motivation, a lot of stuff you heard in there just to motivate you. The name, the title of that video was when you want to quit, when you want to quit. Trust me, we all feel it. All of us heading in that direction, changing our lives, taking our lives to that next level, designing the life that we, that we deserve. There's going to come points in time in that journey where you just feel like giving up. You feel like quitting. Nobody is immune to that. We're all, you'll all go through it. We'll, we all go through it when it comes to designing the life that we want, going after our dreams, going after our goals. But what do you do when you feel like quitting? Do you get knocked down and stay down for longer? Do you, do you get to the nine count before you get back up? Do you stay all the way down, all the way through the 10 count? Are you popping up after that two count? Are you getting hit? You shaking it off? You popping up after the three count and getting things going? That's what you need to persevere to get to the life that you want. I want you all to see that this is life. If there's a common theme or a common thread of what we talk about on these calls, it's that life is gonna life. Life happens. Adversities come. We're all gonna go through stages and seasons of our life that are not favorable to the way that we would want it. It's always going to happen. Question is, how do you react to those? What do you do during those times? Do you get knocked down and get back up or do you stay down? But the key is you got to know this is life. Something that was said in that video said that you're going to have seasons where it's just about endurance, where it's just about endurance. Can you endure this season? Can you get through it? At a certain point in time, success is just about endurance. I read that quote from somebody before. I think it might've been Steve Harvey, but he said at a certain point in time, success is just about endurance. Can you endure? Can you get through the rough times without quitting? Tony Robbins in that video talked about burning your boats, burning your boats, that analogy of, right? You're gonna take over an island. You bring your boats to that island. You jump off those boats. What do you do? Do you keep the boats there? Just in case the people on the island you can't defeat, so you can be like, oh, let's hop on the boats, let's get out of here. Or do you burn the boats? Do you go to the island, you burn the boat, and now you know it's either we're going to conquer this thing or we're going to die. That's it. Those are the only options. We're going to succeed here or we're going to die. And if you know dying is not the option, then you know you're going to succeed. But that only comes after you burn the boat. You don't have those, you have a choice if you don't burn the boat. This is why when we talk about, right, planning our lives, there isn't a plan B. There's not a plan B or a plan C. It's a plan A, the, the life we want, the vision that we write down, the goals, that thing, that's it. There's no plan B, there's no plan C. It's not, well, if I don't get that, I'm okay with this. Nope, that's what we're going after. We're, we're burning the boats. We're burning the boats. So because we burn the boat, we know we're going to succeed because we're, we're not just going to die from this stuff. This is what it says. 177 mental toughness secrets of the world class. Number 127 says champions never say die. We never say die. You never back out. You never say it's over. This is a quality, right? It's a quality of a champion. It's a quality of somebody that wants to design the life that they don't need a break from. This is, about, this is about your mental toughness, your mental fortitude, the pain that you're able to go through, the sacrifices that, that you experience, and then taking those to allow you to pu push you to the next level. Here's what it says in, in the text. It says, the middle class will persist until they become uncomfortable. The upper class will persist until it becomes painful. The world class never says die. Champions are comfortable being uncomfortable because they have grown so accustomed to risk that feelings of vulnerability almost seem natural. Champions don't even begin to pay attention until they feel pain, which they expect to feel on a regular basis. Champion cyclist, uh, champion cyclist Lance Armstrong says racing doesn't even get interesting until it becomes what he calls a suffer fest. Even the upper class cannot compete with the world class because while good performers have a deep desire to win, the great ones are committed to winning. The distinction between the two thought processes is substantial. 
failure to manifest the vision uh, is not an option. Champions will do uh, champions will do it or die trying. The mantra they love to expose uh, espouse is whatever it takes, whatever it takes. The great ones are masters of self-denial, suffering and sacrifice. They do it all to uh, they do it all to live their vision. If you're going up against the great ones, you better pack lunch. It's going to be a long afternoon. Champions never say die. It's never time to say die. You have to get accustomed to the pain, accustomed to what life throws you. Life will throw you punches. Life will beat you up. It's just the way it goes. My saying, life doesn't get easier. We get stronger or not. That's it. Life does not get easier. Don't think that once I get through this, it's just going to be easy. Once I pass this test, once I graduate, it's just going to get easier. Once I get this promotion, my life just gets easier. Once I get this thing, like that's how we think all the time. It's like, well, once I just pass this, then it gets easier. Nope. Your expectation for all of you that are designing the life that you want, the expectation is that life will not become easier. It's going to get harder. There's going to be more things. There's going to be more things on your shoulders. It's It gets harder. The variable is you can get stronger. That's the variable, right? Life doesn't change. Life is going to keep throwing haymakers and punch you and knock you down and throw the curveballs and all types of stuff. The variable is, are you getting stronger? Are you actually focusing on this stuff? Are you taking heed to all the stuff that we're talking about on these morning mindset calls? Are you applying this in your life? Because you don't know when that time is going to come that you're going to have to step up but are you prepared to do it at that time? Maybe life hasn't thrown you that haymaker just yet. Maybe it hasn't knocked you on your butt just yet. I'm sure it has, but maybe, right? Maybe just, right? Maybe it hasn't for you. Maybe life has been great for you and it's never, never had any hurdles or anything. But let's just say if you haven't yet, you will. Question is, are you prepared? Or when they throw that haymaker, you're out. You're out for a couple of years. Some people get knocked out they're out for a couple of years. They're out of the game of life for a couple of years. They're just, you know, anyone that's like, man, I was battling this depression for four years, for five years. I was, I was not myself for five years, 10 years. Like people get knocked out of the game for years. Not us, not us. We get knocked down, but we're stronger. We've been preparing. You've been jumping on morning calls. You've been reading. You've been personally developing. You've been getting around the right people. You've been talking to yourself better. That's something that they said in the video. We talk about it too. Stop listening to yourself. Learn to talk to yourself. Stop listening to the doubt, the fear, the, oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. I don't have the skill, blah, 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 blah. That's just listening to yourself. That's listening to those negative thoughts, that doubt. So we got to start talking to ourselves. Are you, are you applying this stuff? Are you learning how to talk to yourself? Are you taking those thoughts on a daily basis that you don't want to have are you taking them those those thoughts captive and changing those thoughts these are the things that we apply that we do so that we can design that that life that we want but you got to be comfortable feeling this pain on a regular basis you got to be comfortable knowing that this is life this is life the more tr the more trials you go through the more stress you have, the more that you put yourself in that environment and don't shy away from it. Don't try to go away from the pain or the adversity. Lean into it. That's the champion mindset. That's the world-class mindset, leaning in to the things that are uncomfortable till it becomes comfortable for you. And then your life takes off because now you're doing the hard things. You're doing the uncomfortable things. And that's your normal. Like that's your normal. And that's what we have to learn how to do. There was some, there was a saying in the, I, I wrote this down from the video, it said, allow your pain to push you to greatness. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. Allow the things that you don't like that are, that are really, that you might be struggling with, allow those things. If you lean in, press in to those things, don't shy away from them. Press into those things. It takes you to your greatness. When we try to run away because it's painful or because it hurts or because it's uncomfortable, when we run away from those things, you're running away from your destiny. You're running away from the person that, that, that uh, God called you to be. You're running away from that. So you got to lean into the pain. 
Never say die. You're never going to give up. Life gets hard. We all know this, but I'm here to encourage you, right? This is normal for anyone that wants to design the life they don't need a break from. You're designing your ideal life. For anybody that goes down this path, it's going to be difficult. It's why people don't get it. <laughs> it's why people don't actually design the life they want. It's why people that are in their 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s have regrets because they don't actually press in to the pain. They might feel it, but they don't press in. They don't lean in. Um, who is it? Ray Dalio. Ray Dalio wrote a book called Principles. He's a big hedge fund guy. Uh, he had some principles in that book. One of the things he said is pain plus reflection equals progress. Pain plus reflection equals progress. So that means you go through something painful in your life. Here's the key. Are you able to reflect on it? That's the pressing in. If you can reflect on it, if you could be like, man, how did I get, how did I get caused this pain? Or how did this come upon me in my life? What did I do? How would I handle it differently? How could I avoid this next time? Or how could I manage this a bit better next time? Pain plus reflection equals progress. If you just have pain and you never think about it and you try to dismiss it and you don't get to the root causes, you're not progressing. You just are experiencing pain. Pain plus reflection equals progress. So that's what we all have to do. We got to make sure that we are progressing by paying attention to the, to the pain and the areas in our lives that we are uh, pushing past. Here's what it says from Walter Payton. Here's a quote. It says, never die easy. Why run out of bounds and die easy? Make that linebacker pay. It carries into all facets of your life. It's okay, uh, it's okay to lose, uh, to die, but don't die without trying, without giving it your best. Walter Payton, he's a football player. So obviously all this stuff carries into all of the areas of your life, all the facets of your life. It's okay to lose. It's okay to fail. It's okay to do those things, but you got to continue to persevere. You got to continue to try you got to continue to push. I hope you all have your goals written down. I hope you all have a vision written down. I hope it's something that you add to consistently, that every time you have that thought, every time God plants that vision in your mind, that you write that thing down, that you read it back to yourself, that you, every once in a while, you have to remind yourself of what you're doing, what you're headed towards, what you want to make happen. And so you got to get in the habit of writing down those goals, those dreams, the things that you want to make happen, the vision, reading it to yourself. That's what's going to keep you on track when life gets hard, when times get tough. What keeps you on track is, you know, you've been talking to yourself. You've been feeding yourself the vision. You've been telling yourself that you're great. You've been telling yourself how close you are to getting to that place. That's what carries you through. Eric Thomas in that video talked about finding something deep inside you, that why, that why that's inside of you, of why you're doing this. That's what your vision, your goals do when you read those back to yourself over and over again. Now you know why. You know why you're going through the pain You because your brain's going to tell you the opposite. You start going through some things that are hard. You start going through some things that are challenging. Your brain's, remember, your brain is meant to protect you. Your body, like your fight or flight, like it's meant to protect you. So if it feels like you're about to go into something that's painful, your brain doesn't know if you're about to, you know, fight a shark <laughs> or if this is just an argument you don't want to have, right? Whatever you feel like is painful, your brain doesn't know the difference. So it's going to think that you're about to attack a shark or a shark's about to attack you, right? Instead of you walking in and having this conversation with your spouse, they, it doesn't know. So you got to start talking to yourself better and start talking to yourself differently so that it can eliminate those thoughts of negativity, those thoughts of fear, doubt, all those things, because we can't let ourselves stop us from getting to where, to, to where we need to be in life, guys. At the end of the day, just show up, show up, allow this pain to push you to greatness, burn your boats. Remember, this was a good one. You're the creator of your life, not just the manager of your circumstances. You're the creator of your life not just the manager of your circumstances. Go out and create your life, ladies and gentlemen. It's Friday. I want you to take some time today, take some time this weekend, just to sit down with yourself and just design the life that you want. Really plan it out. Really 
have that vision, say, this is exactly what I'm going after. And then we're going to wake up every single day and we're going to move closer to that goal. We're going to do all the things in our power to make sure that we are putting ourselves in that line of trajectory to be like, hey, I know my goals. I'm doing everything I need to do on a daily basis. 1% better every day. It's 365% better at the end of the year. It's not about making big leaps. It's about being consistent and doing all these things. It's the small stuff, ladies and gentlemen, small stuff that gives you most of the impact in your life. So the message for you today, I love you guys. I want you to win. You deserve to win. Your families deserve to win. I will tell you that if no one else tells you that, I will tell you that, but you got to get better. You got to do it. You're the one in your family. You got to put this on your back. You got to get mentally tough. You got to get stronger so you have more capacity because it's too crowded down here at the bottom. It's time to get to the top of this thing. Love y'all. Enjoy your weekend. We'll come back on Monday. Do it all again. Take care, guys. Have a great weekend.